Hey, I'm Cone. And I'm Dave. We're in Sum 41, and you're watching Loudwire. Hey, everyone. Graham from Loudwire here, and I'm so happy to say that I'm here with Thurston and Holmes <laughs> from The Sums. <laughs> Thank you so much. Does, does, nice. Do those names still get brought up by fans? Uh, not really. Not re I feel but like I, such a nerd. I like that you brought it up. <laughs> no, man. When I'm in East LA, I get called Holmes sometimes. <laughs> we are so happy to have you back, Dave. It's so awesome to have you back. Uh, yeah, it must be amazing. Uh, you guys have been touring so hard this year. I mean, doing Warped all the way up until now, you've got five months of nonstop touring ahead of you right now. How's it been being back and how do you feel? Oh, being back is awesome. I mean, we grew up together, so I mean, coming back was just a, a natural feeling. And then it just it the show's gotten tighter and tighter since I've been able to get that kind of muscle memory back for the song. So it feels good, and I can't imagine doing anything else. Like I'd just be at home playing video games. So, yeah, yeah, or working in other bands like you did when yeah, uh, while absolutely. you were gone. Yeah, for sure. This new album, Thirteen Voices, it feels so cohesive from you guys, which is interesting. When you came back, that you can just feel the chemistry. And me as a longtime fan, that's so cool to hear. And it's almost like the album that Chuck could have been in a way. It's still got that heavy edge to it. But then, you know, Chuck was like all over the place stylistically. Like still a great record, mm -hmm. but all over the place. Can you tell me what the experience was like making this one uh, versus Chuck, where it seemed like you guys had a bunch of different creative directions that you were doing? Yeah, uh, well, the Chuck, where did we do Chuck? LA. We did Chuck in LA, a little bit in Toronto. Yeah. Yeah. That one, I guess, yeah, I mean, that was a bunch of songs um, at the time, and that was our first kind of. Um, Inter introductory into like acoust doing acoustic guitars and piano and yeah. even like strings like we'd never done that on any Sum 41 album before so that was kind of like the first album we experimented with that kind of stuff and then as records went by we did that more and more yeah. um, this one was uh, you know once Derek got out of the hospital he was working on getting himself better and just started writing songs right away and um, it kind of uh, just kind of flowed out of him, all these songs. And um, we started talking. He was sending us demos all the time, and we were checking out songs. And um, then we'd go down to L.A., and we'd record some parts and come back home, and then he'd send more songs. So it was over, like, a course of um, over a year, I, I guess, yeah. of recording, you no know, chunks of songs here and there. It wasn't, it wasn't like we had, like, 14 songs, and we went in and recorded them all at once, gotcha. which is kind of what we did on... Chuck and Does Look Infected and all those albums. This one was kind of like work on a batch of three or four songs at once, and then you know Derek would write more and send us more, and then we just do it over the process of a of a year, or over a year. And we had a time where we we had a time where we wanted it to be out by, but there wasn't the same kind of budget, time constraints that we have in like regular studios. Okay. It was nice to be able to like work in our own studios at home and and just kind of send tracks back and forth and. And really get like a proper band feeling to the uh, to the recording, even though you know we were recording it miles apart. So, and this was the first time we didn't have a record label. Like we recorded this whole album. That, yeah. yeah, we had the whole album. We were recording the whole album without a label for the first yeah. time. So it was a lot more freedom even now because you don't have like you know record company guys calling up and asking about songs or yeah. wanting to come to the sessions or anything like that it I'm was just like no those songs aren't good enough make <laughs> new ones and stuff yeah, yeah. yeah. saying some dumb shit like let's wrap this cookie up <laughs> something like that that so, was said to you before yeah. that was said to us <laughs> but you're bringing your back fault. the shred you're bringing back the shred which is awesome because oh. that's what that's what you always brought to some mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. just to bring that back how does it feel to bring that back to some 41 it feels good to be to be playing hard solos again and especially like um working with all four of us like in front with with all the like, you know the bass and the three guitars it's just like there's so much ground we can cover, and and Tom is a killer guitar player as well. So it's like for sure we get to go off and shred with each other, and you know we all grew up listening to Gob, so it's kind of like a you live a dream every time it happens. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Iron Maiden too. Yeah, also <laughs> like we played that last night. Yeah, we did. Yeah. We played the was it the Trooper? No, we, yeah. last night we played well, Aces, Aces High. High. Aces, oh, yeah. awesome, quintessential three guitarist band. So it makes yeah. sense that you guys would do that also. Uh, so, you know, with Derek's illness, it's amazing to see him back. Uh, and that's when you really reconnected with him. Uh, 
So during that reconnection, was that the first time that it felt right to you to think about a return to Sum 41, or was it already in your mind at least a little bit? Yeah, we were we were toying around with the idea before the the whole uh, incident had happened, and then um, you know, to be honest, it was like the last thing on my mind when he went into the hospital to uh, to recuperate, and. Uh, once he got out, he had kind of rekindled the idea of it happening, and, and I was like all for it. I was like, yeah, man, okay, I'm, I got my Twitter open. I'm gonna, he's like, no, 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 hold on. We're going to do something really cool. Yeah. And uh, it ended up coming up that, uh, that we got invited to play the AP Awards. Yep. So, I, you know, you couldn't ask for a better reintroduction into the band. I mean, the MC was there. And, I remember, yeah. And all my friends from high school and, you know, a new family member, Frank. So it's great. I imagine that the idea of coming back, knowing that it's the right time for me to be back, is a bit different than actually coming back and then jamming with your old friends again. So mm. when you got back and you felt that chemistry, did you feel that same emotion of, okay, now I know for sure that this is the right time for me to be back? I think that because ever since I heard like Screaming Bloody Murder, I was like, oh, Damn, I want to be on that record. <laughs> I think that the want to come back once that that uh, that kind of surreal feeling of being back with everybody subsided. It was probably around Warp Tour when it was just like I could, you know, that that kind of connection between all of us that's kind of unspoken and and without describing it and sounding like a hippie. It's just like, yeah, there's great chemistry between the five of us. For sure. And I could definitely feel it once we started playing every day in a row on Warp Tour. Made it in Priest are the gods that we mm -hmm. praised. Mm -hmm. uh, we are Metal Sight also, so favorite Iron Maiden record, favorite Judas Priest record? I know it's a difficult question. Yeah. Well, Number of the Beast. Yes. Um, what's your favorite Priest album? Oh, I don't know. What's your favorite Priest album? Know, it's such a toss-up. I mean, I love the the modern stuff. I love stuff in between. But then, like, right now, okay, right now, I'd say favorite Priest record would be, like, Rock Rolla. Whoa, all the way at the beginning. Yeah. Nice. And then, the old, old stuff. Yeah. And then I would say Maiden. It's really a toss-up between just, like, Iron Maiden and Power Slave. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. Two very different records. But, totally, yeah, but absolutely. Yeah, two of the favorites. But constantly I'm warming up to stuff on those two records. Mm -hmm. 